Hey everyone, welcome to AutoCADs. Today we are going to talk about how to create layers in AutoCAD using VBA scripts and how ChatGPT can help us to automate this process. If you have ever had to create layers manually in AutoCAD, you know how tedious and time consuming it can be. But don't worry, I have a solution for you. So before moving into our AutoCAD, let's just know about the VBA in detail. So VBA is an application that is developed by Microsoft. So completely it is known as Microsoft VBA and its full form is Visual Basics for Application. So in AutoCAD is a programming language and environment provided by Autodesk that allows users to automate tasks. So with the help of this, you can create automate tasks and you can also create custom functions with AutoCAD. So with the help of this, you can extend the capabilities and like you can create repetitive tasks. So here we are going to see how we can instantly create the layers in AutoCAD and this will definitely going to increase the productivity. So with the help of VBA, you can in enhance the productivity. So you can see that I am inside my AutoCAD and I'm going to start the phrase page. And since it's a fresh page, so no layer has been created. So now I'm going to open the chat GPT. So besides, I have also opened the chat GPT. And over here, I have also written the prompt to save the time. So the prompt is to create three layers named K1, K2 and K3 respectively. And this would have a color code of red, green and blue. And this would have a line type of continuous, hidden and continuous. So here the spelling is wrong, but uh, pardon me for that. This code should properly run in AutoCAD version 2020. So right now I'm using AutoCAD version 2020. You can just write the name of the version that you are using. Uh, it's uh, not necessary, but uh, it will going to create the code that is suitable for that version. Maybe any kind of update will be there in that version. So it will going to take care of that. So once I've written the prompt, I'm going to press this button and the prompt will going to be loaded up. You can see that ChatGPT has started creating the code. Now, once the code is written, you can see that it will also going to explain you about the code, but uh, we are going to copy this code and we are going to use it in the automation process. So I'm going to start my AutoCAD and in the AutoCAD, you have to type VBAID in the command box. So once you type the VBAID in the command box, this is a Microsoft Visual Basic for application interface that will going to open. And this will only going to open if you if you have installed it. So if you haven't installed it yet, you just have to go in the Google and in the Google, you have to type the VBA editor for AutoCAD and there in their official website, you can see that these are different kinds of VBA module that is available. Download the module version that you are using, uh, the AutoCAD version that you are using for and then after downloading, it's a simple procedure to install it. Just install it. And once then you when you type VBAID in the command box, the editor will going to open. Now over here, I'm going to open the fresh page in the editor. So for that, I'm going to click on this insert. And over here, I'm going to click on this module. And this is the page where you have to write the code. In older days, people usually used to write this code code manually but since now we are using chat gpt so chat gpt has already provided me the code so i don't have to do much more i'm going to copy this code and i'm going to paste it into the editor once you paste the code there's a run you have to type so this is the run over here and from here also in the run tool from here also you can just click on this run so click on this run over here you can see that it is showing an error so it's not necessary that ChatGPT will going to create the correct code at once. There should be any error. So you have to debug that error. So for that, once you write, run it, you can see that it is showing up the error like key not found and click on this debug and you can see that this is the line where it is showing an error. So how to debug it? So I'm going to copy this line and I'm going to open the ChatGPT again and I'm going to paste it in the double brushes and I'm going to tell ChatGPT that error is showing
key not found once i return it i'm going to upload this prompt and chat gpt will going to debug it and create a fresh code for you so you can see that it has again created a code with resolving the error so again i'm going to copy this code and now what i'm going to do i'm going to again open the editor and from here i'm going to remove the previously created code and uh, once you remove everything it will going to ask you for uh, the uh, permissions so i'm going to make it okay and then i'm going to paste the fresh code again and i'm going to run this code again so make sure that there any no layer should be created so yes two layers has already been created so the code is running properly for k1 and k2 but it is showing a problem in k3 so we are going to open the fresh page again so that the code should run again properly so i'm going to start a fresh page and you can see that over here no layer has been created again i'm going to open the vba editor and i'm going to run this code so click on this run button and click on uh, basically the macros will going to open and this is the name of the program you can see that create layer is a program select this make it run and you can see that now it has resolved the error and it has created the layer k1 k2 and k3 successfully make it okay and just you can see that these three layers is created in the layer property you can open the layer property and you can see that it has created all the three layers with the line type as continuous hidden and continuous color as red green and blue so you can see that instantly it has created the layers in my case it, uh, i have just resolved the error in only one step but uh, you can just create the code maybe it takes more than one step to resolve it the process is same you just have to debug it you have to copy the line in which the error is showing paste it and pay um, tell ChatGPT that this is error and it will recreate the code for you. So once I've got the correct code, I can just copy this and uh, I can just save it in the notepad for the further use. But you can see that now it's very easy since uh, we have got the code. So I am going to close this page and I'm going to open the first page again. And this time there is no layer. And But uh, since we have created the code, so instantly when I'm going to run this, it will automatically going to create the layer saving me a ton of time copy this code save it in your computer in notepad or anywhere and whenever you want to create these three layers you can instantly create it by running the code so this is how with the help of ChatGPT, you can instantly create the layer by creating the vba scripts so i hope that you like this video if you have liked it then please press the like button and subscribe for the updates like this. Thank you and catch up you in the next one.